let's try drawing some exploded views. So here we're going to sketch exploded views for 3D objects. Again, emphasis on sketch. And what we're going to do is to keep things simple, we're just going to use the perspective that's given to us in the uh, original drawing of the object. What this means is that we're not going to be worrying about making it perfectly isometric or making it perfectly to scale. So uh, to do this, what I like to do is so we're, we're going to sketch the object of this uh, square based or rectangular based pyramid. And I'm just going to pick what is a helpful base. In this case, it's really clear. It's the base of the pyramid. And I'm just going to start there by sketching it. And I'm going to try to keep it as close to that original perspective with the original length as possible. That's the first step of creating my exploded view. Now what I'm going to imagine doing is peeling off each side. So this front triangle, I'm going to imagine pulling it back off the uh, object. I'm going to pull it back this way. And what that's going to look like is, so this side, I'm just going to keep it in that same orientation, and then a big, tall triangle. And so there it is pulled off the, uh, pulled off the base. I'm going to do that same thing with this side on the right. I'm just going to pull it away from the base. And notice it's going to be at a different orientation, and that's okay. Uh, and I'm just trying to basically copy what I see in the picture. And there it is pulled away. And now again, the same with the back. So this back triangle. And it looks kind of funky because it's had different, these are all, these sides are all different perspectives. But slowly, we're getting through all of them. And the last one I'll do here is this left hand side. Again, it's kind of a funky one, and I'm just going to try to... I don't want to do any overlapping or anything too technical, so I'm just going to uh, remove it far enough that it's not being blocked by any part of that blue one. And there we go. That's all there is to it. We're just trying to keep the original perspective, and basically all we're trying to do is explode apart the sides uh, of that original object. Now let's do an example from something from real life. This is just a table that I looked up on Ikea, and I love the name of it, which is partly why I picked the table. I wanted something simple, but the, I also love the name of a lot of Ikea furniture. The Aplaro. That's great. So uh, we're going to draw the exploded view of the Aplaro here. And uh, really, it's again, we're not trying to get too technical and too perfect with all of this. We're going to start with the rectangular base here. And then we're going to talk about the other components that we can include. So trying to keep it in that same perspective and getting approximately the same lengths and widths, I'd say that's pretty good for the tabletop. Now, notice that there's these little beams that drop down from beside the top of the table. Uh, and we can either keep that in our original drawing. We're going to pull apart the legs, obviously, but what do we do about those little bits? Either we can pull those apart or we can just keep them there. And I say we just keep them there. So it's this, this little thick section. And I'm also not going to worry about pulling apart the uh, different slats in the table. So I'm just going to uh, sketch those out there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull off the table legs. So here's this first table leg. Uh, we're just sketching it with that same perspective. Doesn't have to be perfect. And there, that's that's good. Um, same with this one on the right hand side. Pull it off. You notice it looks a little skinnier because of that perspective. So just try to capture that. Oof getting a little messy for my liking the sketch but but hopefully yours I, I just have a hard time erasing on the computer screen so hopefully yours looks a little cleaner than mine
and uh, same with this table leg on the left hand side there we go and then finally and uh, we can do our dotted lines to show that they're exploded off and finally the one in the background uh, which is going to have the same perspective as that one that's right beside. And actually from this angle you can sort of see that it's notched on the inside that we can't see from our other perspective. There. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, this is not pretty by any stretch. Um, but, you know, it's just about getting approximate. It's a sketch. Just about showing that you understand the components that go into creating this bigger 3D object.